After breaking barriers for transgender athletes by stealing championships, stealing NCAA championships from real women, most people had hoped they'd heard the last of Leah Thomas, the male swimmer who decided after swimming for three years as a man and doing nothing of note to snap their fingers, identify as a woman, and compete against actual biological women. And of course, what did we see? So much stuff came out about Leah Thomas, formerly known as Will Thomas, and all of his really just degenerate, perverted shit that he was into, exposing himself in front of people, wild things. But we'd hoped that that was the last, that this person would never swim again, especially after they made a ruling for the Olympics that transgender athletes will not be competing. Well, it looks like Leah Thomas is not done yet. Transgender swimmer Leah Thomas mounted secret legal fight to overturn ban with sites on the Olympics, according to a report. Now, this came out a couple days ago. I hadn't had a chance to get around to it, but I really wanted to talk about it just because how truly fucking disgusting it is that this male who went out there and stole NCAA championships from women is now looking to do the same thing when it comes to Olympic medals. Controversial transgender swimmer Leah Thomas is taking secret legal action in a bid to overturn a ban on biological men competing alongside women and hopes to take part in the Paris Olympic trials, according to a report. Thomas, 24, has hired the Canadian law firm Tier and asked the Court of Arbitration for Sport in Switzerland to overturn the rules impo- imposed by World Aquatics after she, that's what the article says, biological male though, became the first openly trans person to win an NCAA Division I title, the Telegraph reported. Uh, He has not competed since 2022 when World Aquatics introduced rules that prohibit anyone who has undergone any part of male puberty from the female category. Prior to that, trans women were allowed to compete if they lower their testosterone levels. Tier described its staff as fearless advocates who have been involved in high stakes and precedent setting cases, but those brought before the CAS are controversially heard behind closed doors unless one of those involved agree to publicize them, according to the outlet. So apparently, since September of last year, Leah Thomas has been trying to get this done in secret, probably because they know if it, when it was made public, there'd be so much backlash against this individual because truly it's disgusting. 99% of people in the world, they don't think that biological men should be competing in women's sports. And for all the people in the woke sports media that have been pushing women's sports for years and years and years, for them to all of a sudden be so silent about a freak. Leah Thomas is a freak. We saw all that secret Instagram exposed when Leah Thomas's fetishes about getting off by being a man pretending to be a woman were truly exposed. It's disgusting stuff. But in general, we're not even talking about that right now. We're just talking about the fact that this biological man is still trying to steal championships from women. And this time, it's at the Olympics. Uh, There's going to be a lot of people that push back against this. All normal, rational people in the world will push back against this. And let's hope that World Aquatics sticks to their guns and that they don't let this freak actually compete in the Olympics. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.